Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll share one of the hottest and one of the biggest questions that many foreigners will keep asking me. How to start investing in South Korea or how to buy Korean stocks when you are living in South Korea? And what are the documents? What documents do I need? Can I start investing by my D2 visa or F2 visa or E2 visa or E1 visa? Okay, in this video, you will know all the answers. Now I'm going to the investment and securities office in one of the branches in South Korea, then I will ask them all the required questions. And they are not allowing me actually to take camera inside, but okay, I have listed all the questions here. So I will go there and I will ask all the questions. Then when I come back, I will answer you all the questions and let's go. Okay guys, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel that you can watch my regular videos. And if you have any question regarding starting a business in South Korea or start investing in South Korea, and you want to know about good stocks or bad stocks or maybe that long-term investment strategies so please comment below i will try my best to answer all of your questions but for more detailed uh help please talk to the financial advisors my videos are only for educational purposes okay guys let's go i just came from investment securities office in seoul and um because it's a kind of legal issue i had to go there and ask them the legal process and in this video i will answer all the questions that you kept asking me in the comments at the end of this video, you will know about everything investment as a foreigner in Korea, guys. Our documents, process, legal process, everything. The first question that you kept asking me is that can foreigners buy stocks, index funds, ETFs, or bonds in South Korea? The answer is very short, very short, and yes. Yes, you can start investing in South Korea. As long as you're legal, you can start investing in South Korea. Let's go number two. What types of visas can invest or buy stocks in Korea? Uh, as long as you're legal, maybe you have some people, they called me, can I buy like stocks in South Korea as a D2 visa, F3 visa, E2 visa, D8 visa, D10 visa? Yes, as long as you're legal and your visa is not expired. I mean, your airline registration card is not expired. So yes, you can start investing in South Korea. And question number three, what documents do you need? You need airline registration card, that's in like immigration card, passport, a small photo, as well as like um, investment account. Before that, you should go to the bank, a regular bank, open an investing account, guys. Then they will help you with that. Whether it's Uri Bank, Kukmin Bank, Ninghao Bank, any bank, any regular bank in Korea, they will help you with that investment account. Ask them that you will start investing, then they will help you with a different yeah account not like your debit card your cash card the check card these will not work out so you should have another investment account and uh, question number four is that where can i buy stocks okay so i have you're thinking that okay i have all those i have the requirements i can fulfill all the requirements like i'm a foreigner i have like visa and it's not expired i have these documents so now where should i go where should i buy this you should go to the investment and securities office okay there are a lot of offices in south korea Every city, whether it's whether you're in Incheon, Pusan, Seoul, Daegu, Daejeon, okay, wherever. Okay, so, so look at this one. NH uh, Investment and Securities. There's also uh, NH uh, Investment and Securities. There's Cookmin, there's Wuri. There are different types of uh, brokers that they are dealing with um, uh, stocks, bonds, and mutual funds, ETFs. So you go there, they will help you. They, there, are, there are people that they can speak English as well as, of course, Korean, and if you're good at Korean, so you have no problem. Go there, and they will also help you with the process, the procedure, they will tell you what to do, what else to do. As long as you're legal, you should go there. Okay, that's okay. Even if you're illegal, so no problem, you can go and ask them, but you cannot start investing. Question number five, guys. Can I buy foreign stocks in Korea? No. You can only start investing or buying Korean stocks, Samsung Electronics, uh, Hyundai, Coupang, maybe Never, only Korean companies. You can buy Korean stocks in Korea. And uh, the next question is that, okay, where should I buy foreign stocks? I want to buy, I want to invest in Tesla. I want to invest in like GM. I want to invest in Toyota. I want to invest. So, but I saw also a video that a Korean is talking like maybe uh, foreigners can start buying foreign stocks with Vanguard or Robinhood. No, guys, I have been doing this all along and you cannot uh, buy foreign stocks in Korea with Robinhood and Vanguard and as well as Webull. No, 
these applications are only working in the US and the UK. As a Korean, if you're a Korean citizen, probably yes because there are some documents that you don't have foreigners they don't have and if you're a foreigner in korea with an alien registration card you can only start investing you can only buy korean stocks not foreign stocks but there's only one application that is eToro i'm not promoting any company any application guys any broker but eToro is uh, with eToro it's possible yes you can start investing with tesla alphabet with other uh, company like facebook you can buy these stocks but uh, with Korean brokers, no, you cannot. And um, okay guys, so if you have more questions, please comment below. I will try my best to answer your questions right. Please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel that you can watch my weekly videos and I will see you in the next video.